Hello, everybody. Kelly Atchison coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Oop, I see somebody's here. Let me get my computer set up so I can see who is playing with me tonight. Brooke, Sarah, Brenda, nice to see you here. Let me see if I can get this up on my screen. Nope. <laughs> I must have pushed too many back buttons. Here we go. Oh, and I've got to hit my mute button and see if I can find me live. Hi, Carrie. Carrie, did you get home yet? Kathy, Rogin, Mary, how are you? Hi, Jessica. Here I am. There I am, live. Okay, now I can see my comments. And here they come. I wonder if I can. Oh, thanks, you guys, for sending me the love. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Sherry. Mary Lynn. I've got everybody from all over the country. There we go. Hi, Holly. Sierra. Okay, you guys, I am going to get started. I say that I will start at 6 p.m., and by golly, I'm going to get started at 6 p.m. Um, I've got some announcements to make, and I'm trying something new here tonight. I'm going to see if I can use my Kindle to see my comments versus having my laptop taking up a bunch of space on my desktop here. Oh, Facebook has stopped. That's something I think I'll have to play with later. That did not work. <laughs> I'm sure I can do it, but maybe not today. All right. Let's see what's happening. What can I tell you about since last week? Let me know where you're coming from. I see some people are saying where they're from. Hi, Heather. Hi, Karen. Hi, Kay. I'm glad to be back. You know what? I felt almost empty last Sunday. You know, it was Easter, so that was fabulous. But, um... I got to spend the weekend with my mom. That was really nice. I got to go visit my uncle. I have an uncle who is um, terminally ill right now, and he's in a nursing home after a hospital stay. And so I got to go visit with him several times. That was really nice. And uh, spend some downtime with my mom. I still don't have my taxes done. Yeah. Oh, this is my taxes. Yay, me! <laughs> Maybe I'll work on those tonight after we get done playing with some embossing paste. I'm super excited about that. Thanks, Claudia. Oh, my gosh. Lorraine, thank you so much. I don't know what I was thinking. Tierra, in place. We are ready to rock. <laughs> okay, I want to start off by thanking you guys for joining me tonight. Um, I do have some cool projects to show you. I had a lot of fun playing with... Um, embossing paste. That was really cool. Thank you, Kathy. That's wonderful. Um, I'm glad that I was missed. You guys make me feel so loved. I can't even tell you. Um, what else? I just got back from Milwaukee and I have some cards to share with you that people sent me. So that's always really fun. Who doesn't love to get fun mail like that, right? I have some prize announcements um, for winners from my last Facebook Live. What else? I guess probably, do you see the mess behind me right here? I had my whole office cleaned up before I left for Milwaukee. I went down on Thursday afternoon. Um, I went in a little early to meet with my good friend, Dina. We stayed at the Marriott. Um, that was just fabulous. It was beautiful. And uh, we had a really good time. We got a little, a little bit of time to go shopping. And um, Dina found out and I probably knew this but didn't realize it, um, we went to get some wine, and we were at Target, and in Wisconsin, you can't buy wine after 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> you can't buy any alcohol after 9 o'clock at night, and I'm not much of a drinker, and when I do buy any alcohol, it's usually at the grocery store, and I do that during the day, right? I don't go at 9 o'clock at night or after, so it was, it was kind of funny. Hi, Sue! Um, so that was kind of cute. She was extremely upset about it. <laughs> 
And she couldn't believe that in Wisconsin, you can't buy alcohol after 9 o'clock. If anybody knows why that is, I'm going to do a little research and find out what that's all about because it seems pretty silly. Anyways, um, let me share some of the things that I got. Uh, this is the bag. We always get a bag when we go to a Stampin' Up! event. And this is the adorable bag we got. It is... Um, reversible so you can turn it inside out. Uh, I have a whole stack of swap cards here. Hi Barb! That I got at the event. I took, let's see, I took 20 swap cards and then I had a private swap of 16. So I have 36 different swap cards and then you know there are these lovely demonstrators that even though you don't have any swaps left they give you their swap. So that is super sweet. So I think I'll show you a few of those. I don't want to take up too much time doing that. Um, this is a cute little gift bag made with our treat bag um, thinlet framelit set. And I got this from one of Dina's team members. And look at cute swan socks. Thank you. Lovely. I think this might have come from Shelly. So thank you very much. What else? Um, I cannot show you the product that we received um, when we were in Milwaukee. There is a gag order until one o'clock mountain time tomorrow. So I'm really sorry about that, but we're gonna have fun anyways and I have plenty of stuff to show you tonight. Uh, let's see, this was our notebook that we got. Stampin' Up! just does everything um, over the top. They always do the best things with details. Hi, Shelly. She did give me the socks. Woohoo! Hi, Kathy. Um, so this is our little notebook, and it's actually a planner, which is pretty cool. So I'm pretty sure that it's okay to show you. I took some notes. Okay to show you these kind of things. I just can't show you new product coming out in the new catalog. We have some amazing announcements that I can't tell you. <laughs> I know, right? I'm just like, oh, I want to tell everybody. Um, hi, Val from Wapan. Welcome. Let's see, what else can I show you? Um, center stage was Friday night. We did a really um, fun dinner. And then they do a presentation and give us, you know, maybe some stats about the company. We get to um, see our, our Stampin' Up! friends from all over the area. So that's really cool. This was one of the things. It's a little tambourine. So I did a lot of tambourine um, tapping at the event yesterday. Uh, for Prize Patrol and cheering on my fellow demonstrators for their accomplishments. So that was cool. Um, here's a good one. Mini glue dots. <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about that. We have a bin on our tables at um, our events for make and takes. And the bins have all the things that we need in them to do make the cards that Stampin' Up! has for us. And at the end of the event they let us go around the table and um, everybody gets to take home the stuff that's in that in that um, uh, container. And I let my girls take all the stamp sets and the punches. Um, when it was my turn, I thought, nope, let them have that stuff. I took these kind of things. <laughs> so I have this, I have um, a brand new Versamark pad. So that's the kind of stuff that I grabbed, which was kind of cute, I guess. Um, I can't show you the projects that we made. I also got the mini dimensionals. Yay me! I use a lot of dimensionals, so that was pretty cool. But I will be able to show them to you after tomorrow. So I'm still digging through my bag here, trying to decide what I can show you. Let's see, what else? Dina gave me this adorable little bag, and look it, isn't that fun? She gave these to her team members with some goodies in it. Um, we went shopping and look at these cute little purses. Okay, so you're like, Kelly, what the heck is that little purse for? Well, um, she said, the lady at the store said you can put um, your change in it, but I'm going to use it to travel with my earrings because they always get kind of tangled up in my necklaces when I'm traveling. So I've got my earrings and my ring in there. And I thought, oh, isn't that fabulous? You know, um, who? somebody just asked me if I'm going live um, tomorrow, and I don't know. 
I would like to go live. If I do go live, it's going to kind of be an impromptu thing because um, I have to take Anna down to Milwaukee. I get to go back to Milwaukee tomorrow. I have to take Anna down there for an appointment with her specialist. And I've had a few people asking me, how is Anna doing? Not good. So she's still experiencing a tremendous amount of pain. And that poor girl is just about at her wit's end. So those of you that um, are praying for her, please continue to do so. We're hoping that we'll get some answers tomorrow. Um, yeah, we're just hoping things can, you know, something's got to happen. That's good. This girl can't catch a break with this whole disaster. So um, continued prayers are always appreciated. Uh, let's see. What else can I show you? Oh, here's my name tag. If you've ever been to a Stampin' Up! event or seen people who've been to a Stampin' Up! event, we get a name tag and then we get ribbons. And um, we have a center stage ribbon here. And then based on your title, you get different ribbons. And my good friend, um, Dina, took it upon herself to change this. I know you probably can't read it, but this ribbon right here um, was my title. And I used to be a gold elite, but big announcement. Um, last week, I promoted to platinum. I know. Um, that was so, so cool. And um, platinum is one step below the very highest level you can be with Stampin' Up. So that's super exciting. I have you guys to thank for that. Um, my customers, my downline, my family for putting up with this crazy paper ink thing. Um, so that was really cool. So Dina wrote on here, she crossed off the gold and she wrote like totally platinum. <laughs> So we had an 80 theme, so that was perfect, right? And then last, I had ribbons made for my team, and my team is called the Stamp Above Creative Crew. So everybody that was at um, on or yeah on stage had a team ribbon on here also. Thank you guys so much. This is my little lanyard that I got from Brighton Store, and it holds these um, name tags. This is the second one I've owned. I actually finally. I finally broke down and bought one, and I lost it. Like, I still have never found it, so I had to buy a second one. Yay me. Typical, right? What else can I show you? I'm pretty sure I can show you this super cool thing. What is it? Well, let me show you. It is the coolest thing. These were on all the tables at our special dinner Friday night. And, <laughs> whoops, here we go. It is... A lighted box that you can make say anything you want with all these letters so oh that's the back <laughs> so you can slide these little letters in here and it has hang on a power cord how fun is this and the Stampin' Up! emblem on the back so that was one of the gifts that we got Stampin' Up! always like I said they do everything hundred and ten percent and we always get super cool fun things what else can I show you? Okay, um, let's see. I got this gift from my upline, Ann Hebner, and it is a little bag. Oh, let's see if I can get it untied here without wrecking the tag. This is the tag. How cute is that, right? Celebrate you, and she was congratulating me for my promotion, my title advancement. Hang on, I'm trying to get this open. I'm not doing very well. She tied it really good. So she gave me this cute little bottle of champagne and two little plastic champagne flutes. So how sweet is that, right? Super fun. And let's see. Whoops. There goes the flute. Don't worry, it's plastic. It's fine. And then we got this as a gift. This is our, um, what do I call this? New branding, beautiful, right? And what's in the box? A metal, oh, is it metal? I thought, yeah, it's stainless steel. There we go. Stainless steel Stampin' Up! cup. So I love these kind of cups. So there you go. What else? Let's see. Um, oh, this is all the candy. I bought tons and tons of candy to throw all over the table. That's always fun. Please don't mind my ugly chair. My other chair broke, and I need to get a new one. Uh, not that you care about my chair, right? And then Dina got me this, this little wooden box, and it says, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> so 
So, yeah, we like to kid around with each other. I'm going to set that right on my desk to remind me. No, I don't need to be reminded of that, right? What else can I show you? Um, how about my suitcase? Did you guys see these? Hang on, so I don't break anything here. This is my Stampin' Up! suitcase. It is a carry-on size, and it's a hard case. And isn't this just delicious? I absolutely love this little thing. I took it with me to on stage to carry all of my gifts for my downline in it because they were kind of big. And I had 31 people um, from my team at an on stage. 30 of them were in Milwaukee and one was in Las Vegas. Um, so that was pretty cool. Okay, Whew, that's a lot of work, right? All right, you guys. Um, I think I'm going to get started with my projects. And if you want to hang around when I'm done, I know the suitcase is cool, right, Annette? If you want to hang around when I'm done, I will show you some of these swap cards because, um, the, oh, geez, they're pretty cool. All right, and I have to be super, super careful that I don't reveal anything that um, is a new product because I'll get in big trouble for that. Okay. Oh, I've got some more presents, too, from people to show you. Oh, I can show you this one. My super good friend, Lori Krauss, makes the most beautiful jewelry. You've seen me wear that really chunky heart necklace. She made that for me. And she made this pin. So I'm sporting that tonight, too. All right. Um, let's flip the camera around. And I have some things to show you close up so you can see them right side and not backwards. How about that? So bear with me. This is always stressful. And um, yeah, hang on just a second because I don't know why my screen just locked up here. I need to be able to see. Okay, I think we're okay. Um, this is always stressful. If something happens that I touch something on my phone and I disconnect you, please just click on the title of my Facebook page, a stamp above dash your creative coach that will refresh your screen scroll down and you'll find the live video if I have to restart it because this is always like oh my lord and aren't my nails pretty I know right <laughs> thank you so much hang tight and here we go Let's see if I can get my You guys get motion sickness you may want to just not look for a little bit here get myself set up and I think I'm gonna raise you guys up just a little bit I lowered it because I thought it was a little too low or too high okay can everybody see okay am I doing all right here I'm also going to plug in my phone yeah, for some reason, my computer just stopped again. Why does it do that? I do not know. Okay, I have you plugged into a power source. Remember that one of those times when I forgot um, and my phone went dead? Yeah, that was fun, right? Not. Okay, prizes. Yay! Hang on, my computer screen is not working here. Let's go to the live. Yep, let's go here. What is happening? Sorry, you guys. This is really frustrating. Okay. Okay. I think it's going to be good now. All right. Prizes. Um, we have, for commenting on my last Facebook Live, Debbie Gilbert. And I didn't get a chance to find out where Debbie is from. So, um, Debbie, if you're watching, please instant message me with your address so that I can mail this out to you. This is the Sweet Saray Decorative Masks. We're going to be using these tonight, and I will be able to show you um, what to do with them. So I'm excited about that. And I just bent your tape back, so let me put that back on there. Here we go. Okay, so that's for Debbie. And then um, Mickey Farley is... Um, Hang on. For sharing the video, you're going to get a pack of the Tutti Fruity 
self-adhesive sequins. These are super, super fun, and I think they come in five colors, if I remember correctly. And then Kathy Laux of Nina, you're going to get the Tranquil Tulip stamp set. This is an exclusive hostess set, and I absolutely love this one. I just know you're going to love it, too. So I will get those out this week. Mickey and Debbie, if you could please um, instant message me your address, that would be great. Kathy, I have your address because you just placed an online order with me. That's why you won this Tranquil Tulips. Your category was the order category, so thank you so much. All right, let me set these aside. Are we ready to stamp, you guys? And I haven't been watching my comments. I get so wrapped up in talking to everybody that I kind of forget. So I apologize for that. Uh, let's see. Let me get all my stuff over here. I'm going to move these cards that I'm going to share with you guys so I don't forget to do that. And, okay, embossing paste. So, currently, hang on, i got to take a sip. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have full-on Pepsi. <laughs> I know, you thought it was going to be something great, right? But it's really not. Well, Pepsi is great. Just ask me. Um, embossing paste. We have regular embossing paste. And you can see it's just like some creamy looking stuff. It looks like face cream, really. And then we have um, silver embossing paste. Ooh, cherry lemonade. That sounds delicious. I like tea, too. I'm a tea drinker. While we were away um, this weekend, I always ask for raspberry lemonade. I just love that. Then we have, well, let me show you this. This is the silver embossing paste. Oh, don't rip on me now. I think it kind of got stuck. Yep, a little bit. There's the silver embossing paste. Isn't that just look delicious? I know. And... We have um, a shimmery white embossing paste. And this is, oh, this is so pretty. Can you see the sparkles in there? It is just so, so pretty. It's got like dazzling diamonds in it. So that's really cool. All right. And then I chose two different decorative masks to use. One of the decorative masks, this is called the pa Pattern Party Decorative Masks. And I'm going to lay these out here so you can see them. It has clouds, so you can make clouds on your card front. We've got bricks. This is one of my favorites. I love, love, love the bricks. We've got these little diamond-type shapes. And then this, which I don't know what to call it, but it's, it's very pretty. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's pretty, what you call it. And then we have the Sweet Soiree decorative masks. And let me get my little catalog out here. I'm hoping that I'm not as discombobulated tonight as I think I'm going to be because I was gone for a week and I made these projects before I left. Um, I tend to fly by the seat of my pants and I do better work when I like just made these cards earlier today. So because I made them earlier in the week, I feel just kind of discombobulated when I'm trying to explain things. This is the Sweet Saray Suite, which is on page 10, 11, 12, and 13 in the Occasions Mini Catalog. It's got a stamp set and a set of framelits. And then you can find the um, shimmery white and the silver paste right here. And it's this decorative mask. Um, and then we've got a whole bunch of other products that go with it. But that's where this is coming from. The regular white paste that I showed you first is in the big catalog. So let's see what we're going to start with here. Let me see if I can remember what I'm doing. Um, I have, oh, you know what I need? I need a paper plate. Ah, I just happen to have one on the floor behind me. Isn't that nice? This has been here a long time, but I'm glad it was there. <laughs> You guys just keep plates laying around your room? I know I do. And then we have this set of palette knives. These are really nice. Um, it's great for mixing and for applying the um, embossing paste. So I've got a bunch of different um, pieces of cardstock. These actually go with cards. So I've got those ready to go. Let me see, what am I making first? I am going to, I think I'm gonna do the peach one. 
This is our peekaboo peach. Remember, you guys, all the in colors that are old, which are, let me open up my drawer here, um, Dapper Denim, Emerald Envy, Flirty Flamingo, Peekaboo Peach, and Sugar, or Sweet Sugar Plum. All of those colors are retiring. They are going to be announced, I believe, this coming week. If you need reinkers, ink pads, paper, markers, ribbon, embellishments, if you need any of that stuff to go with these three colors, these are three of the colors that are retiring. I'm going to also be using Dapper Denim. Please order them right away. Once that retirement list goes live, they sell out like, like they're gone. And I have people every year that are like so disappointed. But I've been telling all my customers for at least a month, these are retiring. You must order them before that retirement goes live. So just know that. Okay, back to our Peekaboo Peach. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Sweet Saray Decorative Mask. That's the one that comes with these two sheets. And I'm going to use this flower image. Just wait for this. This is so beautiful. And I'm going to use that with the Shimmery White Embossing Paste. So when I use this one, I just pull my embossing paste right out of the jar. And I'm just going to stir it up a little bit. And now I'm going to grab some embossing paste on my palette knife. And like I said, we do sell this whole little set. All you have to do is type in, in a search, palette knife. There you go, pretty simple. <laughs> nothing, nothing fancy for a name. I'm going to hold my um, decorative mask down and I'm just going to splotch on, there's a nice word for you, right? Classy. <laughs> I know, I've been known to be pretty classy. <laughs> I hope you guys are laughing with me or at me. That's fine. And you're just going to push it down in a very nice thin layer. You see I've got a big glob right here. Hang on, I'll fix that in just a second. I'm just going to smoosh that. And I'm trying to kind of make it even. That's it. That's all you have to do. You're going to pick up that mask. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And that sparkle in there is just so gorgeous. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm gonna do it again. And because I can anticipate your questions, mainly because I usually have the same questions you guys do, how long does it take for this to dry? This is a super fast drying paste, I can tell you that. Only a couple minutes, really. So now I just put it right on that edge I'm gonna pick up my mask, I'm gonna pick up my cardstock, and do you see how it's kind of a little bit going over the edges here? I'm just gonna take my knife and square that off. Super, super easy. Now, I can pick this up, and I really should be using a silicone sheet here. Let me grab one. Where are they? Now I've got a gazillion of them. Here they are. These silicone mats are really nice for these types of things. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'll miss Dapper Denim too, but you know what? I do look forward to the new in colors and I have seen them and I'm super, super excited. I cannot tell you what they are. So don't try to pry it out of me, but just know that I think you're going to love them. I know I'm gonna love them. It was time, it's time for new colors. We need new and fresh. A lot of people get bent out of shape when their favorite colors retire, but you know what? Um, you just don't use them as much anymore. And you know, I always tell my customers this. If a store carried the exact same inventory all the time, you, you wouldn't need to go back there and they would go out of business, right? And we don't want Stampin' Up! to go out of business. So they must change their inventory, their colors, their everything. That's, that's how you keep things fresh and live and new and, and um, exciting. There you have it. There's my two cents worth. <laughs> okay. And again, just pushing that on there, scraping off the top. And you see I have a little bit of, whoops, hang on. Eh, 
little bit of run over here. I'm just gonna square that up on that side. Square these up. Okay, do you wanna see what I made with this? Who's excited? Okay, somebody wants to win me over with the paste. Deb, I'm not a fan yet, mostly because the cleanup is a mess and I hate, and I hate they're never completely clean again. Okay, so just like our ink pads, or I'm sorry, just like our stamps, some of the stamps and some of the colors stain the stamps. And just like that, you have to be okay with that because if, you, if I pull out a stamp set and it is really stained and dirty, that tells me that I have made a very good investment. Why? Because I've used that set a lot. And that makes me very happy. And yes, this stuff is very fast drying and we need it to be fast drying so we can keep crafting with it. I just wipe it off with a baby wipe. You can take it and put it um, in the sink and wash it. These are plastic. This may not come all the way off, but you know what? When you go to use it next time, it doesn't hurt a thing. It's okay. And this tells me that I didn't waste my money because I have a perfectly pristine decorative mask here. I have a used decorative mask and that makes my heart happy. Okay, now let's see. I'm gonna touch this just a little bit. Okay, you guys wanted to know how long it takes to dry. This middle flower is already dry. Like it is dry. This one's dry, that one's dry. They're all dry, that's how quick they dry. So that's pretty cool, right? I took the um, Petal Palette, one of my favorite sweets from the Occasion Mini Catalog, and the Petals and More Thinlets. And I used this one to finish off my pretty little card. I love this leaf one. You've seen me use this before on my Facebook Lives. Oops, hang on. We got things flying everywhere. If I cut out extra stuff, I just put it in the envelope. Um, if I don't use it so that I can maybe use it on, in the future, right? Here is the card that I came up with. The greeting is from Petal Palette and this leaf is from the matching framelits, thin lids. I used um, gold foil paper here and a layer of gold foil behind my peekaboo peach. And then my card base is pumpkin pie. And I also put a little tiny strip. This is like an eighth inch strip of our gold foil paper up here at the top and stamped some of the really cute little flowers. Oh, these flowers didn't come from that set. I'm a liar, I'm a liar, hang on. <laughs> that is not the right stamp set. The leaf came from the framelits with that set. This is the stamp set. You can see the greeting right here, the cake saray right here. The leaf comes from the petal palette, and then these flowers come from the cake saray. So I've got a whole bunch of stamp sets going on here. But isn't that pretty? What do you guys think? I was really surprised at how I liked, um, I tried several different combinations for my card base with the peekaboo peach and the gold, and I was really quite surprised that I chose the um, pumpkin pie card base, but I think it looks really pretty together. Yeah, Cheryl hopes that I punched the center of the um, big gold layer out, and I did not. I did not have time, and that's what happens when you're in a rush. I was trying to get out of town to go to Milwaukee when I was um, creating these, so, <laughs> nope, it's a full sheet. I'm just going to have to eat it. <laughs> so there's our first one. All right, let's go on to the next one. Oh, before we do, I wanted to show you a couple things here. Um, these are the embossing folders that go with that petal palette. And as you can see, this embossing folder is very similar to this Cake Saray decorative mask. So kind of neat that we have these coordinating um, products, right? All right, next. The next thing that I did, let me get... Oh, I'll set, I'm going to set this aside so that I can use that for something else. Now I'm going to come in here with some dapper denim. This is also another uh, retiring color. 
and we're going to color some embossing paste. And yeah, there we go. Where is, here's my deck of denim, okay. And the piece that I need for this is this white piece. All of the dimensions are going to be on my blog on Tuesday for all of these cards. So you can find the dimensions, you can find links to the products that I use, like the Cake Soiree stamp set. You can click right on that, it'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store if you need to order any of that stuff. Now I'm going to use the regular white embossing paste. And... You always think you need more than you do. So I'm just gonna take about this much here. Oh, Claudia, that's a really good idea. She puts a little container of warm soapy water on her table, drops the masks and the palette knife right into it right away and they clean up beautifully. That is great, thank you for sharing that. I'm gonna take a little bit of Dapper Denim Reinker. And when I made my sample, it was very, very dark. So I'm just gonna try a little bit less. I'd like maybe this to be a little bit less intense with the blue. Yeah, and this is a little bit lighter. So I'll be able to show you both cards. The one that I made for my um, sample to try and figure out what the heck I was doing. <laughs> yeah, that one and this new one. Okay, so once you have that all mixed up, I am going to grab the bricks. Where's my bricks? And these are from the Pattern Party Decorative Masks. I'm gonna grab the bricks, and if you want to, you can cover your um, layer of cardstock completely with bricks, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna give it kind of a shabby chic look. And you wanna kinda make sure you get this on here straight if that's the look you're going for. If you're not, well then by all means, put your bricks on here crooked, but I want mine on here straight. I'm just gonna hold it down on my silicone mat, grab some of this blue, and I'm gonna come in here and just wipe it on like this. Now, you guys, it doesn't really get much easier than that, does it? I mean, seriously. Look at how cool that is. I love this look, and it really is shabby chic. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside while we make the rest of the card. And I'm gonna grab a white. Next time I will get um, some soapy water, Claudia. That's a great idea. And I'm just gonna wipe this off for now. I'll take this in my kitchen and clean it up later. My husband right now has got a, um, I think he said it's a pork roast cooking. And my house smells delicious. So yeah, I'll take this in the kitchen and clean it later. Okay. You want to make sure that you're closing up your embossing paste. You don't want it to um, dry up and close it up pretty tight. Let me get this closed. Then what am I going to do with these bricks? Well, let me show you. I'm excited to show you what I came up with. Um, I've got all my cardstock layers here. My dapper denim is four and a quarter by 11 and it's scored at five and a half. And now I'm searching for my bone folder. And I've got this layer for the inside and Whisper White and then just a scrap. I decided to use, um, can those masks, can you use those masks with daubers and ink pads? Elaine, that's a great point. Yes, you can use these masks with any type of medium that you want. You can lay them down in dauber. You can, you can um, use sponges with them. You can smush ink pads right on them. Just experiment with them that the sky's the limit with these things um that's a great question yeah becky hi becky i'm glad you're feeling better um it is like peanut butter on toast and it really it glides really nicely i've got the birthday wit stamp set i love this one i love witty little sayings i'm going to use some dapper denim ink and I'm gonna stamp up the inside layer of my card. And I think before I do that, um, I've got some dried, oh, I know what I can do, Never mind. Heavens, we'll pull this in here. I didn't wanna stamp on top of this dried um, paste because it's kinda of crunchy and it may mess with my stamping abilities. 
We don't want that. I've got enough problems, right? Okay, here we come with the inside greeting. I put um, two stamps on a block. I'm just going to ink this up. And because this one's really solid, you want to make sure that you're getting that inked up really good. I'll put that right in the middle here. <gasps> pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with that. And then, oh, where's my glue? See, I haven't stamped since Thursday. I know that's shocking, right? You almost go through the feeling of withdrawals, but it was nice to have a little, little bit of time off. I do have to say. Okay, there's the inside of our card. Now I'm going to put this away. I don't need it anymore. I'm bringing in black, and I like to use Memento Black. It's my favorite black ink pad. And this little scrap right here. And I'm going to take this big birthday greeting, and I'm going to ink this up. I, I just want the happy birthday part of it. And I'm going to stamp that on my scrap. There we go. And scissors, please. Here comes my paper snips. This is super, super easy to cut out. It's just a rectangle. What did I miss? What did Eris ask? I missed what she asked. Your husband said next week. Hi, Lori. Glad you could join. And we've got Rebecca from Melbourne. I want to come to Australia, Rebecca, and if I do, can I stay with you? <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't have to really answer that, but I do. That's on my bucket list. I want to go to Australia. I hope Stampin' Up! sends us to Australia. That would be awesome. Okay, so I cut out this happy birthday, and then I think I forgot a little layer here. So, hang on just a second my Stampin' Up! ruler out here. Yep, okay. I know what to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be right back. I'm going to cut this. One inch. Okay, we're going to do this and this. I'm going to glue this right on that silver foil. This is definitely a masculine card. Now, if you wanted it to be um, less masculine, you could certainly um, use girly colors, right? Girly colors would work. I'm gonna punch out three balloons out of the balloon punch. Oops, hang on, I had that locked. And um, I'm gonna take black Baker's twine. Now here's a great little tip for you. You know how you tie the cute little strings on the little, um, I don't know what you call this, balloon, I don't know, I want to call it a nipple. <laughs> is that, is that permissible? <laughs> Whatever, the little thing where you tie the balloon. If you take your Baker's twine and tie it in a little loop like this, I can make this, it's really super easy when I'm not trying to show everybody how to do it. Tie it in a little loop like that, and then put the end of your balloon in here, right? I'm just inserting it through there, and I've got the tail right here on the back of my balloon. I'm going to just snug that up a little bit. Tails on the back of my balloon. Oh, I think this is going backwards. Yeah, I kind of did it upside down. Let me start over. Insert your balloon this way into your little, oh my lord, here we go. <laughs> just like that. So it ends up just like this, okay? I'm going to take a dimensional and stick it right on that string, and the string comes off of your balloon end just like that. Isn't that cool? Okay, I'm just gonna cut that, get rid of this. Let me get some of the stuff out of the way. I've already got my other balloons done here. And they all have dimensionals on them. So I'm going to arrange those on the front of my bricks. I'm gonna do this one. 
and oops, let's get that stuck down good. This one, come here, you little bugger, just like that. And this one. Now I left long tails on them so that I could tie them up, make sure that I wasn't going to run out of thread here. And I'm just going to tie them in a loose knot. And I'm going to make that knot be down here where my greeting is going to go. That's this part. A couple more dimensionals here, one on each side. Char, thank you. It's the wording and experiences. I love that. Where'd my card? Where'd my card go? Right here. Okay. You're so sweet. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna glue this on here. Oh my lord, what happened? I am missing my black, and this is what happens when I do things so far ahead of time. Hang tight. Quickly, we've got. Three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I believe that will fit under here. A black layer. Don't forget the black layer. You guys, you can make your cards so spectacular if you just add layers. I know I've said this a million times. I sound like a broken record, but it is the truth. Add those layers. They just make things look fabulous. Here comes the front of my card. So I've got a little bit more border showing of the blue than I would normally have with a four by five and a quarter inch layer. And then here comes our little happy birthday. And I'm just gonna put that right here. I'm gonna trim these off. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? Okay, I don't know why my computer quit again. I don't know why is it doing that. I hope you guys aren't having any trouble at home. Fun, fun, fun. There we go. See, this is a little bit darker than this one. This more matches the color of the dapper denim. This is a little more navy colored, but I use dapper denim reinker in the embossing paste for both of these. So there's your fun little card. Great for the guys in your life. All right, are you ready for the next one? Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. It's amazing how much stuff, right? <laughs> it's just stuff everywhere. Thank you, Linda. You were freezing early. Oh, I was freezing. Okay, well that's good to know because I'm not really sure. My screen keeps stop playing on my laptop. My video keeps stopping. Hang on, I have to take a sip. Gosh, my mouth gets really dry. It's not like I'm not a seasoned yacker. Okay. <laughs> All right, next. I have another guy card for you. This one's pretty cool. Let me get this out of the way. Um, this one is going to use the Emerald Envy. And we're going to use the da -da -da -da, little triangle mask. Now, this one I'm going to put on here on this little layer of emerald envy on the whole thing so i'm going to cover the whole thing let's see if this is dried up yet mm, it's getting pretty dry and that's just it you guys if i would have gone ahead and made this right away i could have used this but i'm not going to because it's kind of crunchy now and we don't want crunchy it won't spread well so do all of your um, embossing paste things first for all the layers of your cards. And then you can, you know, make the cards. You know what I mean. Okay, working on the rules to my Kelly video drinking game. Number one, take a drink whenever Kelly gets out of her chair. <laughs> oh my gosh, Denise. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> that is hysterical. Okay, so if anybody else wants to play Denise's um, drinking game, uh, you just watch for me to get out of my chair to get something. And uh, by the end of this video, everything will look uh, completely amazing, no matter what kind of mess ups I make. <laughs> yes. 
unless you're drinking tea, water, soda, but if you're drinking a glass of wine, if you're enjoying a glass of wine tonight, this could be all very fun. <laughs> okay, so I've just mixed up some more blue, and I'm going to, again, just put that on the back of my knife. I'm going to make sure this um, decorative mask is on here straight because that's the look I'm going for. If you want it to be crooked, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't. Wait till you guys see this. This is pretty, pretty cool. I got one little, how did I do? Um, I think I got it. And look at how little, there's no embossing paste on this decorative mask. Like I have scraped it all off. Are you ready? Ta-da! Isn't that fun? I love, love, love this. So you guys, the sky's the limit for colors that you can do with this. Um, they're pretty cool. Any reinker color that you have will work. Again, I'm just going to clean off my knife and I'm going to come around these edges. You want to do this while this is still wet and square up those edges. Because once I put this on the next layer, you will see them if there's any sticking out. Isn't that cool? This embossing paste is so much fun. Let me clean this off. Now, what I would do is I would design a card like I did, and then I would figure out a whole bunch of, or I'm sorry, I would make up a whole bunch of these embossing paste layers. And after you have all of those made, then you can go about, you know, making your cards, completing your cards. But that's what I would do. I was, I would hit the embossing paste first and get that all done. Use all of these. I mean, these clouds are adorable on the front of a blue layer. They're just, or a pink, pink layer. They're really cute on pink too. All right, now we're gonna finish this card. And like I said, this is another masculine card. I'm going to be using this beautiful corduroy ribbon. Um, how wide is it? Three eighths inch. This is in the mini catalog with the truly tailored bundle. Let me show you that. Oh my gosh, I'm up to 150 viewers. Holy cow, you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, Lori, for telling me that. That's super exciting. Okay, True Gentleman Suite. This is on page 44 and 45 in the Occasions Mini Catalog. We've got a brand new punch here called the Tailored Tag Punch. They've got some really nice wooden buttons in here. Amazing designer series paper. You can get single markers in Chocolate Chip and Tranquil Tide. That's awesome. Um, even if you have those already, since if your marker, um, if you leave the lid off of it or you use it all up, which hardly ever happens, but it does happen, um, you have to buy a whole color family pack of markers, right? So I always take advantage of these when they se um, sell individual markers or like a, a two pack of them. I always buy these just so I have that backup. I love that Stampin' Up! does that with some of these colors. You can get the punch and the stamp set in a bundle clear mount for $34. If you're a wood stamper, it's $41.25. So you'd save 10% there. All right, let's keep making our card. Here comes that fabulous punch. Here are those amazing buttons. These are so fun. I absolutely love these. And the stamp set. And where are my layers of cardstock? Kelly Etchison. Okay, so maybe I didn't plan on making that one for you guys. I'm gonna show you though this punch because I think it's really cool. And where'd my dapper denim? Are you drinking, Denise? I'm leaving my, I'm going to get things. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think that's so funny. I'm back, be done now. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. I did the one with the little comb on it. Leaving again, everybody takes a drink. Oh my gosh, this, I, I, this is gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> Way to go, Denise. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. I love these. These are crisp and clean and fabulous little images. And um, what I've been doing is I have been cutting out the layer that I stamp and then punching out, I'm gonna punch out a dapper denim layer to go behind it. So these are super, super easy to layer this image. So I'm just gonna cut this out and I'm gonna cut it fairly close to the white. And of course, because these are nice straight lines, even people that hate to fussy cut, um, this is not gonna be bad at all. You're gonna love, you're gonna love this punch. This is the first card that I have, I think, made with it. Um, I'm going to start, I'm probably gonna show a lot more cards with this truly tailored bundle because it's time now. <laughs> um, we're coming into Father's Day season. So I'm just gonna layer this right on here. And this just, it, it makes it easy for you to layer another color behind it. Doesn't that look nice? I really like this. Oh, thanks, Eris. Maybe it's Denise's drinking game that's making me look so good. <laughs> I love it. You guys are adorable. All right, do you want to see my finished card here? And by the way, this is all dry. Here we go. I put my corduroy ribbon on a piece of dapper denim cardstock that I just ran across this layer. I popped this little puppy up on some dimensionals. I used a mini glue dot with some of our fabulous linen thread just tied in this button. A very thin margin white layer behind this. Doesn't that, okay, so if you were to take this and this, that's fine, right? But check out that white layer really makes this top layer pop. And I also use the elements in the set. There's some really neat elements in here besides the um, wording and these little, whatever you call those shapes. So I just did this on the inside. Pretty cool. Thank you, Karen. It is really classy, right? Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Kathy. I appreciate that. Okay. I wasn't counting on that, I guess. I wasn't counting on um, making this card. I thought I was. So, you know, you just get a little carried away when you're stamping because it's all so fun. All right. Am I putting my boobs up on the table? I hope not. Okay. Next. Let me put this away. I am going to show you the silver embossing paste now. Let me get this out of the way. We'll see how long, you guys. We'll see how long it takes me to clean up all this stuff. When I get done with a big event or get done with a Facebook Live, sometimes it's an entire week that my office just stays in a disaster state. So I was so proud. Oh, Denise, I'm leaving my desk. I was just so proud of myself that I got this whole room cleaned up before I left to go to Milwaukee because then when you come home, I walk in the door and I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks so nice, right? Um, yeah, Diane, it is a great guy card. And let's see, Claudia, I just connected with a high school classmate of mine from our school in Texas who was watching you. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. That is, I love stories like that. That is just awesome. Okay, where did my, here we go. This is Flirty Flamingo, nope, Sweet Sugar Plum. Let me make sure I'm not lying to you. Sweet, yep, it's Sweet Sugar Plum. And I'm gonna use this with the silver embossing paste, which is, that shimmery white. Here comes the silver. Okay, what I found about the silver embossing paste is it is a little bit thinner than the other embossing pastes. And I know I think I read a thread someplace where people were kind of mixing something in with it to thicken it up. You can probably find that. I don't remember what it was. I didn't really feel the need. Um, what am I using here? Oh, I'm going to use this. The Sweet Soray or the Cake Soray. What was that called, you guys? Cake Soray. That's the party pattern. Oh, sorry. Sweet Soray Decorative Mask. I'm going to use the Sweet Soray Decorative Mask. And I am going to, where did my, yep, here we go. I need to disengage my mouth and just open my eyes and I wouldn't have to ask so many questions. <laughs> All right, there is my silicone mat. And then I'm going to come, I want the tops of these little viney flowery, whatever they are, 
to um, be on my card. Otherwise, you could put it right up here and you could just have them go all the way across, which is kind of cool too. Um, but I'm going to do it like this so that I've got them running across here. And again, I'm going to stir this up a little bit. Look at, look at how, oh my gosh, you just want to eat this. Oh, and one other thing I should tell you. Um, do you know how when we had stays on ink pads, you're, you're supposed to, they say, use that in a well-ventilated area and whatever. I always like to smell that. That's probably a, the root of a lot of my craziness is, you know, sniffing stays on ink pads. But um, this stuff, it smells really weird, but I kind of like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I'm in so much trouble. All right, so I'm just going to take some of this silver embossing paste and, again, Whoops, I just let my, um, don't let your mat come up. My decorative mask just kind of lifted off. I don't know what we're going to have under here. Most of it will be okay, though. So don't let it lift up like that. And again, you're just scraping this so that there's not a lot left on your mask. You want it to get into the grooves. And I'm going to put it back in here. Notice there's a lot I just put back in here by scraping it off this front. I got some right there that I need to... There we go. Okay. I'm going to close this up. I leave those little um, styrofoamy things in there. I just think they help seal it. I'm not really sure. It's just a guess. It's just my personal opinion there. I'm going to wipe this off right away. Do you want to see what we have? Okay. Here we go. If I can get a hold of it. Oh my gosh, it turned out perfect. Yay, me! This must be my day. Okay, but I'm... Damn. Let's see. What is happening in my comments, you guys? Um, oh, Kathy Miller. That's a great idea. Put washi tape on the back so it doesn't move. I like that. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that when she gets out of her chair that she might be taking a little nip, too. <laughs> Ginger, um, normally, uh, probably if I was um, anybody else, that would be a correct assumption, but I have to tell you, I'm pretty uh, loopy without any outside influence, like alcohol. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just kind of my personality. I'm a little bit crazy, and I'm not afraid to admit it. Okay, but it is kind of a pretty good assumption, right? Here's this little piece. I will clean this off later because we are almost done stamping. And you want to see what I made with this beauty? <gasps> Ta-da! Oh, look at how that shimmer, shimmer, shimmers. Here we go. Cake soiree. This is the cake soiree. I used the stamp from that set. I did a little silver bow with the um, thinlet and a black rose with the thinlet. Oh, I know why I have this here. Let me show you. My ribbon, do you see that ribbon? Pretty cool, I thought this was pretty cool. I took our silver edged ribbon and I laid it out and then I put some of this eighth inch silver ribbon right in the middle of it. But do you notice that my ribbon is colored? Let me show you. I know, I feel kind of like a magician with some of this stuff. All right, you can use your ink pad. I'm just going to cut off a piece here. I know this breaks your heart that, you know, I'm probably going to waste this, but whatever. Um, it's all in the name of creativity. I'm just going to take a little scrap of paper. It doesn't matter. You can use a dauber. You can use anything you want. And you're going to lay this in your ink pad, push it down with the dauber. That works really good. And it will color your ribbon. And I'm going to do that on both sides. And then I'm going to bring a tissue in and wipe off any excess ink that's on here. That's how I colored the ribbon to go in the center of this other ribbon. And I think that's kind of a neat look. It's a neat look, isn't it? Did I do anything on the inside? Oh, look at how pretty that inside is. So I did that. The other thing you can do is these are the in-color markers. And I've lost my dapper denim. It's here someplace. I just know it. But here's our um, Flirty Flamingo. And you can also take the marker and just lay it down on its side. This gets you a little darker look. And I'm going to, again, wipe it. 
And look at how pretty. Let me put this against. Whoops. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just like totally wrecked the back of my card. <laughs> See, these are the kind of things that happen in real life. <laughs> Anyways, I was going to show you against white how very pretty that is using the marker on it too. What am I going to do about this? I'm going to send this to somebody who will not care. How about that? <laughs> yeah. And I really am not drinking, okay? So, um, like I said, I was going to be a little discombobulated tonight because I have been away from my stamping desk for, you know, three or four days here. And uh, I made these so long ago that it's um, really hard for me to remember what I did. And isn't that just terrible? I know. I'm taking this um, medication. You guys know I had breast cancer a couple years ago, maybe. I don't know. And um, everything's fine. But um, I take this medication, and it has really messed with my memory, like really stupid things. Like, you want to know what I did really stupid today? And I do stupid stuff pretty much every day. Um, I pulled up to a gas pump on my way home from Milwaukee on the wrong side of my truck. Now... I've had that truck since my 23-year-old was 15 years old. I've been filling that truck with gas since then, but I, I pulled up on the wrong side. And it wasn't even like I pulled up and turned it off and went, oh, shoot, it's the wrong side. I got out, put my card into the pump, and pushed the button, and then went with the nozzle and went, oh, crud. Like, those are the stupid things that I'm dealing with that I've noticed have really increased since I started taking this medication, and I have to take it for a total of five years. So three more years, let's cross our fingers that my brain isn't complete mush by then. <laughs> All right, so I promised you swap cards, right? Uh, let me see. I'm going to bring back in the cards that I showed you. We've got, let me get this mess cleaned up a little bit here. We've got this beautiful peach card using the shimmery white embossing paste. Peekaboo Peach Retiring. You saw the last card I made with the silver embossing paste and the um, Sweet Soray Decorative Mask. This was also the Sweet Soray Decorative Mask. Um, what was I going to say about this? I don't know. There, see? Um, and then... <laughs> We have this where we took the white embossing paste and added reinker to it. Oh, and I have a couple other little samples here that I didn't get a chance to do something with. This is Berry Burst reinker added to white embossing paste. See, I was going to do something with this, but I just maybe I'll do something with it and add it to my blog this week for one of my blog posts. I'll come up with something. But this is um, Berry Burst added to the white. And then we did the Dapper Denim added to the white for this super cool card. So I think embossing paste is super fun. I think there's a lot of things that you would be able to do with it. And these are just a few things that I did. There are probably lots of other ideas for this too. So um, let's see. Okay, are we ready for swap cards? I want to show you swap cards because some of them, I, I we got some really nice cards. Let me put these away. Let me get rid of that because that's going to make me crazy. Put these away. Yay! Don't forget, you guys, um, if you plan on placing an order, use the host code for April. And you can always find this host code on my blog in the right-hand column. My blog is www a stamp above .com. Um, I have prizes for I pick somebody who, for comments so if you're interacting with me and commenting and asking questions and all that good stuff I will um, choose a winner from that I also choose a winner if you please share my video share 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 you'll see the share button right by my video click on that and share it with all your friends you never know what um, how many of your friends or family might be into crafting or might want to start crafting. So share my video for me. And when you order with the host code, I also enter you in the drawing. So um, I have lots of fun stuff to give away. I love giving stuff away. Okay, let's look at swap cards. What did I do with them? They're right here. Oh, I've got some other like present type stuff that I got too. 
So let's see. Oh, I can't show you that. I can show you this. And I think I can show you this. Oh, yeah, I can show you this. Okay, isn't this cute? My friend that made this adorable button, remember the button I showed you at the beginning? She also gave me this little box of Hershey Nuggets wrapped in designer series paper and our beautiful lemon lime ombre ribbon. So isn't that just adorable? I love little presents like this. And you know what? This costs her next to nothing. But just the fact that she would take the effort to make this super cute and give it to me means the world to me. And I believe that when you share stuff like this with people, they really do see that extra effort. You don't have to spend a lot of money to be a generous person. You just have to put a little bit of thought into it and you have to plan ahead a little bit. But um, I love little gifts like this. Here's a super cute You Light Up My Life, and this has a little votive candle in it that you can turn on with some of our Sweet Saray Designer Series paper on underneath of it as a little platform. Isn't that just adorable? This was another gift I got from one of Dina, Dina's teammates, my friend Dina. Let's see, what else do I have in here? Oh, I got a stamp set I can't show you. I've got markers I can't show you. Here's a card. Oh, I can show you this one. Oh, and I got this cute little box. Okay, it looks like I just set that on a wet baby wipe. See, that's where things get wrecked. Ugh. Let me get that baby wipe out of there. Hang on. Ah, look at this. Isn't that cute? Now, this is just a sweet little chimes, and I think it's probably maybe from the dollar store. So again, it I'm pretty sure it costs a dollar. But the thing is, is that she put this cute little tissue paper in here, and she made this adorable little box with some stamping, some cardstock layers, one of our faceted gems, and um, a die-cut flower. A little bit of effort, tiny bit of money, wonderful. I felt very special. Okay. Oh, here's a card. Some of these are in envelopes, so I hope the, the sh let me look at my, make sure that the shine isn't too bad. Okay, I'll try to adjust these so you don't get that glare from my lights, but this is a really cute card. Here's one of my favorites. This one I thought was just beautiful. This uses the beautiful day flower. It's that big flower and that butterfly along with the leaves um, embossing folder and the leaf punch and our square layering squares. So nice, very nice um, swap card. She also colored the flower with some Wink of Stella. And what is this? Oh, Dina. Dina gave this to me. This is just a very pretty card. And where did these swishes come from? She did it with her aqua painter in ink. Isn't that cute? Very, very sweet card. Okay, I have such a pile here. Here is a sweet saray. That's the stamp set that I kind of featured in a couple of the cards tonight with the designer paper. I thought this one was beautiful. This is... Um, who made this? Cindy Ellers. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful card. I got this one from Christine and Gina. Isn't that pretty? I love these pens. And they gave me a little note that said, To our fearless leader, thank you for your continued support and encouragement in our Stampin' Up! businesses. It is so greatly appreciated. We love you. You are the best. Isn't that sweet? I love cards like that. And she put it on a post-it note so I can use this card again if I would like. So that's nice. Here's another really cool looking card. This is from Cindy. I remember um, she gave this to me. Beautiful swap card using the waterfront stamp set. And then we've got Life is Short, Live It with Zest with our lemon bundle. Here's a cute little one. And this was from Emma. Oh, wait, Emma John. She traded with me, and you put one of those votive candles in here, and it's got vellum cutouts on it. So it's kind of like a little decoration. That was pretty. Oh, here's the cool card. This is another cool card that Cindy gave me. Are you ready for this? Ah! This was congratulating me on my promotion to Platinum. I think this is so cool. Maybe I'll feature this next week. How about that? I think I'll set that aside to do that. Uh, oh, I got a brand new Versamark ink pad. Remember I said I was taking all the other stuff off of our desk or table at the onstage event. Look at this. This is an easel and it holds some scrap paper 
and it has a little calendar on the front, some rhinestones, our bow builder punch, and it used the um, Petal Passion Designer Series paper here in the background. You can see that. Again, another really simple little gift idea that costs you next to nothing if you already have the supplies. Uh, that went with that. And I'm not quite sure. This is in a sandwich bag, which is... This is by Linda Zaliski. Oh, look at that. This is... um. This is a fun fold of sorts. I think this is called a diorama card. See how it looks? That's cool. Oh, maybe I'll make that next week too. <laughs> Here is the Truly Tailored. This is the same stamp set that I used on my card. That's a really cool one by Linda Sorensen. She's from Beloit. Ooh, I love this one. This was done with daubers. I can see the dauber marks in the blue down here, but don't you just love how vibrant these colors are? Very, very pretty. Linda Zaleski. And here's our Daisy Punch. This is a cool little layout for the Daisy Punch. No name on that one. Oh, I love this one. I love these colors. Who made this? Amy Peters from McQuanico. This is really pretty. And another, this is one of my favorite stamp sets. Oh, this is really thick. Let's see what's going on here. I think something's, oh, look at all the layers she used. It just feels like quality with all those layers. Lots of dimensionals in there. This is from Cheryl Lenz of Muskego. This is a pretty one using the beautiful you. I love that whole set with the ladies in it. It's gorgeous. And a thanks. I can't remember what this set is called. And then this is the set with the um, Colorful Seasons, I think it's called. You Make Me Smile in the Branches. That's very pretty. This is by... Janie Binger from West Bend, Wisconsin. Okay, I got a few more for you guys. Are you still hanging in there? All right, we're diehards, aren't we? Oh my gosh, I almost showed you something that is totally illegal. Oh, we got in big trouble for that. Um, oh, I have to show you. Oops, I just ruined it. Hang on. Does Denise need a beverage? Hang on, I'm going to step away from my desk. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not. But I'm going to take a drink. <laughs> Go ahead, Denise. Take a big drink. Look at this total cuteness. It's one of those party blowers made with our designer series paper, right? This is the Tutti Frutti, or uh, not Tutti Frutti, um, Picture Perfect designer series paper, I believe. And look what it is. Lifesavers. Again, the cutest stinking gift. Doris Fryman made this. Um, and gave me one of these. She is in, she's on my team, one of my friends on my team. She made this and gave this to, I think, all of her team members. So we had these sitting at our places at our table when we got to on stage. And isn't this just adorable? And it's just a pack of breath savers. So this is going right in my purse, but I'm keeping this because I'm going to make some of these. And all she did was roll up some paper here, round some paper around here and cut it. You could use our fringe scissors. Have you guys ever seen those? I haven't used mine in a long time, but look at those puppies. Yeah, they look dangerous, don't they? Do not drink alcoholic beverages when you're using these. Um, <laughs> just a warning. So isn't that just the sweetest? I love that. I was very touched by that. Oh, um, here's my card. I will get it out for you. I put a little note in the back of my card that says what it is. It's a bridge card. It's a fun fold. And I said, I left the white layer loose in case you want to use this card. You can write on it and then glue it to the black layer. And I put my name on here. This is my... This is my bridge card. Isn't that fun? I have this. This is on my YouTube channel, on my blog. Um, you'll find a video on how to make this. And this is the part that I left out. So I can just write a little something on here and glue this in place because it's going to be kind of hard to write with all the stuff in the way, right? Or you can write right on the back here. But that was one of my swap cards. And let's see. I've got some candy here. Somebody made this cutie patootie little candy holder. Oh, and don't forget the Twix. Again, just something little and sweet shows that little extra effort. There were a lot of things like this being shared at the on stage because, well, that's what we do. We make things, right? And when you can come up with something cute that is also a gift, oh my gosh, you're hitting it out of the ballpark. Okay, I have cards to share with you that people sent me. So I see I've still got 125 of you hanging in there. I will continue to share. What time is it? 
Oh my gosh, it's only $7.19. We're in good shape. Okay, this is from my friend Denise. Denise sent me this adorable Easter card. Happy Easter. Thank you, Denise. I love, love, love this. And then I have this one is from, look at that. Look at that cute bunny card. Bob and Virginia. Oh, Virginia, I hope you're watching. I miss her. She was in one of my um, stamp clubs in Fond du Lac, and I don't see her anymore. She moved um, to West Bend. So thank you so much. That was so sweet of you. And then Cindy sent me this beauty. This uses our um, fruit basket and the Tutti Fruity paper. This is super cute. Some of those sequins that I gave away tonight. And thank you for the, oh, yes, I gave Cindy a special prize. So she's sending me a thank you card. Cindy's on my team. Okay, look at this envelope. This is from June Franco from Gardenia, California. Oh my gosh, look at this. Let me see, does this open? Let me see if I'm smart enough to open it. I am, look at that. Oh, oh this is for Anna. June, you are so sweet. I am going to be picking Anna up and taking her down to Milwaukee tomorrow. Look at how sweet is that. That is so nice. Oh my gosh, I'm almost in te I'm tearing up here. And let me see this. <gasps> Look at this. Holy cowabunga. That is just beautiful. Kelly, thank you for all your help. Aw, oh, June, you are so welcome. Look at that. That is amazing. Love, love, love. I'm keeping this. I'm going to set it right on my laptop so I put it in my purse. I'm going to put it right in this envelope, too. This is just the sweetest. Thank you so much. Anna is going to love that. It's funny. Anna is not a stamper, but she has come over and helped me a couple times with some stamping stuff. Um, and um, she likes to watch my Facebook Lives. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? She likes to watch them because she thinks they're really interesting. That's sweet. Then Dee Dee Tibke. Dee Dee Tibke is a team member down in Arizona. She's on my team. Look at this beautiful little card. Wow. I so appreciate all your hard work that you do for us. I feel blessed to have you as my upline. Oh my gosh, Dee Dee. I will read the rest of this later. Thank you so much. This is just beautiful. I'm going to set that aside so I can finish reading that. I don't know that she really wants me to read it to the whole world. Well, let's be real, Kelly. The whole world isn't watching you. But I do have 116 of you left. <laughs> okay. Look at this. Oh, somebody made my bridge card with the Tutti Fruity. Let's see what this says. Um, nope. Here we go. Here's a note. Kelly, love to make this bridge fold card. I have to get used to measuring from right to left. I was used to um, Martha Stewart, 0 through 12, left to right. Karen, this is from Karen Drain. Karen um, was one of the prize recipients in the last couple weeks for my Facebook Live. So she sent me this card. She told me she was sending it. Karen, you did a great job. That is beautiful. All right, you guys. So... I don't know what you have going on this week, but I'm taking Anna to Milwaukee tomorrow, which means we'll probably have to stop at the Cheesecake Factory if she feels up to it for lunch. Uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, our thing. And my next Facebook Live will be April 15th at 6 p.m. That's my mom's birthday. It's also tax day, so I'm probably going to go visit my mom after I get done with my card buffet on Saturday and then come home to do that. So I think my husband said something about taking me to Galena, Illinois. If you've ever been there, I guess it's a cute little town um, where they have lots of shops and I don't know what else, but we might do that for a couple days this week. That would be really fun. I forgot to show you this. This is a convention survival kit. The balloon, there's a balloon in here to start convention off with a bang, a hand sanitizer to keep you healthy and happy, a highlighter to mark the catalog pretty. Did I tell you guys I have the new catalog? Um, yeah, it's gorgeous. Kisses, a reminder that we all need hugs and kisses, post-it notes to write down your sharp ideas, starburst for a burst of energy when you need it, and tissues to wipe up the drool. Isn't this adorable? This was from one of Dina's teammates, or one of Dina's team members, I should say. So I can't remember who gave this to me. I'm really sorry. 
But um, there goes that memory thing again. No, I had bad memory for names before I started taking that garbage. Um, thank you very much. This is super cute. All right, you guys. I need suggestions for upcoming Facebook Lives. I need you. Tell me, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to show you? Have you seen something that maybe scares you a little bit? Because I'm pretty fearless in the stamping arena. <laughs> like, I would be your gladiator if we were back in those those olden days, um, as far as stamping goes. Because I'll try anything, pretty much. Um, oh, tax day. Claudia, tax day is April 18th. Well, that's good, because I don't have my taxes done. <laughs> I need to call my accountant. I need to get my numbers finalized and call my accountant. Um, thanks, Mickey. Oh, I'm glad you're on here. Mickey, would you please message me if you didn't already your address? Because you won something tonight. I don't know where it is right now. Oh, I know where it is. You won some self-adhesive sequins. Yay, you! So please, um, instant message me your address when you get a chance. What is a card buffet? And that a card buffet is where we have, um, I have a bulletin board that has, um, 16 different cards on it and people who come to my card buffet get to choose which eight of those cards they want to make so that's why we call it a buffet and um i charge 18 dollars, or you can get the whole buffet experience for free with a 25 dollars order i have one um i have a card buffet once a month with my partner in crime kathy miller um she's one of my very good friends and um, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator also. So that's what a card buffet is. They're a lot of fun and people get to pick and choose. Do they want to make the card that looks like it's um, going to be a, you know, a little bit more involved or do they want to keep make the cards that are quick and easy? Completely up to them. They can do whatever they want there. But that's what a card buffet is. I have those in Nina. Um, like I said, once a month from 9 to 1 on a Saturday morning. And you can find my event schedule if you're local in on my blog www.stampabub.com right up at the top you will see a bunch of little um uh, tabs and you go to events that'll take you right to my calendar where you can see what's going on okay gift card holders oh carol that's a great idea who said that somebody else must have said it so i'm sorry i missed that but i do go back through and look at all my comments in case you guys have questions so thanks sheila i'm glad you enjoyed it Oh, especially we need graduation, wedding season is coming. You know, this would make a beautiful wedding card also. So, you know, just change the greeting on it and you have a really pretty wedding card. So that's a great idea. Um, oh, and Mary loved the luminary card. Yeah, I'm going to, what did I do with those? I set those over to the side. Um, these little, these fun folds, I'm going to set those aside and I'll come up with something with those this week and show you how those are made too. So that'll be fun. I love, I love fun folds. Like they are my thing. I love fun folds. Did anybody have any other questions for me tonight? I'm always happy to answer your questions. Maybe I missed your question earlier. I know I get kind of like zoned into what I'm doing and sometimes that can, I can miss a lot of stuff. So, um. I wonder if I can turn back to me. Let's see if I can do this without messing everything up. Okay, you guys stay right there. Okay. What did it say? It says rotate your phone. Oh, look, you can see my TV. Woohoo. Glad there's nothing naughty. Now, I do have it muted, though. <laughs> no, I don't watch naughty things on TV, but you know, you never know what that TV's going to come up with. Okay. So, um, Shelby has a 50th anniversary card with the peach. Yeah, that would make a beautiful 50th anniversary. Hi, Suzette. Can you add glitter to the paste? I don't know why you couldn't. Like, that's a great idea. Um, we do have paste with glitter in it, so you can, you can certainly buy it that way. Um, but I don't know why you couldn't. Hang on, you guys. I know I'm jiggling you around, but my tripod is really stiff. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to have to duck down so you can see my tear. I'm still wearing it. I stamp better with it on. Good night, Linda. Thank you for joining us from the UK. I appreciate that you took some time out to watch my video. Love the paste demos. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you so much. Mary, if you join late, just go watch the replay. Uh, maybe accidentally drop a peek at that catalog. <laughs> Deb. 
I would love to show you the catalog, believe me, but I will. Pr I would probably get fired for that. Um, the, I don't know how many times Stampin' Up! put up the, the thing on the screen. Spoiler, spoiler alert, do not show anything, any new products, any catalog, inside, outside, cover, nothing until 1 p.m. Mountain Time tomorrow, which is the 9th, right? Yep, the 9th, so sorry. Oh, you know what, Wendy, that's a good idea. And maybe sometime when I have my stamp room cleaned up, I'm planning on doing a little revamp. I will show you. Um, right now it's kind of a mess because I have stuff kind of stacked all over the place. Yeah, you did see my buffet board, didn't you? Well, actually, one of those was just a display board, but my buffet board is behind it. And I've only got two cards ready for next Saturday. So if my husband's taking me someplace this week, I'd better get my butt in gear, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, sometime I will show you. I'm planning on redoing my room a little bit. I've got an L-shaped desk here. And then this thing back behind me, I made that whole cupboard thing. I think I'm going to take that and put it over in the... That's a closet where you saw my TV. I think I'm going to put that over in the closet um, to open up some space back here and then I'm going to put a table in the middle of the room so that I have access to all four sides of that table. One of the things that makes me crazy is having to set up and take down like my video area. I have to set it up and take it down. I have a photo booth for all my photography for, you know, I, I have to take pictures of this stuff and post it for, um, for my blog and on my Facebook pages. So I would like to have just a place where that just stays. I don't have to keep moving it around because you guys know when stuff is at easy access, you tend to use it more, right? That's why I have all my punches over here right on a board where I can constantly see them. I have all my um, ribbon on the other side of the room in um, eaves troughs that I have mounted on the wall so I can see it because when you see stuff, you use it. If you pack it away, you don't use it. And I want things to be easier. So I got some stuff from Ikea. I have three boxes sitting in my living room. I've got two filing cabinets and one of those um, big white uh, like bookshelf with the cubes in it where you push the, push the, um, the big cubes into it. You know, I don't know what it's called. But anyways, I have three pieces of furniture that have been stacked in a box in my living room since Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last week my husband says, uh, you need to get those out of the living room. <laughs> I'm like, I know, but first I have to do my taxes, and I was going to Milwaukee, and now my mom's birthday is coming, and I have a card buffet, and after that, my stamp club start for the month, so I've got to get ready for that, and you know, it's just excuse after excuse after excuse, but you know, it is what it is. Everybody's life is crazy. I know I'm not living that by myself, right? Is it time to drink yet? <laughs> yes. Yes, Al, um, Val, I will do a stamp room tour sometime because I do have some pretty neat storage solutions that I would like to share with you. If you guys want to see my room, um, it's, I remodeled it. Like, I did the whole thing myself. I put in new flooring. I did all the woodwork in here. I painted the walls. I built this desk. I built that cabinet. I built that thing. I built my punch thing. Um, if you go to my YouTube channel... And you can find me, Kelly Atchison. Just go to YouTube and search for Kelly Atchison. And then once that comes up and you choose me, then you can click on videos. That's really important. When you click on videos, it's going to bring up all my videos. And you can scroll down. There's pages of them. But just look for the picture that is my room, uh, my stamp room makeover, or something like that. You'll see it. It'll be a picture on the front of the video. And you can see where I used to stamp, which was in my 118-year-old basement. Yeah, that was fun. Unheated basement in Wisconsin, I might add. Um, it was really crappy. Um, and then I took over this room up here, which used to be a playroom for the kids. And um, I redid the whole thing, and I take you through the whole thing. It's like it's a very cool video, if I do say so myself. So you can see that I really haven't changed anything in here since I made that video. So... It looks all pretty and neat. It's not all stacked with, you know, stuff everywhere. Go take a look at that on YouTube. You'll love it. Do I keep my retired items? I just missed your question. Do you keep your retired items or purge them? Okay, so, and who's asking me that? Renee. 
Renee, I am a, uh, this is my job. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. That's my employment. And so while I have this fabulous idea that I'm going to keep my favorite sets once they retire, I've really come to terms with I just need to let them go. I do sell them at a my used stamp sale. And um, I do that so that I can invest that money in product that I can then show you and sell because that is how I pay my bills. So all your orders are appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, your likes, your sharing my video, all of that helps me out so much. I really do appreciate it. But um, so I do sell. If it retires, I sell it. Even usually if it's a favorite, like I don't think I can part with it because I never use it again. I am always creating stuff to show you that you can buy. And um, it's just silly for me to keep those things. So I do sell everything. Hi, Lola. I'm glad you could get in here. Um, please go back and watch the replay of this. When I'm done, I will post this on my Facebook um, page so you can watch it from the start and see all the projects that we made. So does anybody else have any questions? Now it's a playroom. Yeah, now it's a playroom for me, Val. That's absolutely true. Oh, Lori, I make you tired. Well, I do have an overabundance of energy. Um, you know, my friend told me one time, you know, you're not normal. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know that. But then she went on to explain that I can do 20 things in a day that a lot of people couldn't get done in a week. And that's just how I roll. Um, I'm a get things done. But again, I fly by the seat of my pants. I, you guys think I'm also very organized. I'm really not. Um, I, my friend and I have been categorized as chaos. And we are chaos. And then our other good friend is straight and narrow, very organized. And she, like, is our handler. <laughs> we like to say we like to say about Barb because um, she keeps us focused we are tend to squirrel 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 and you know it works well for me um, obviously but yeah I am I'm kind of crazy and I have an overabundance of energy uh, it's very rare that you will ever catch me sitting in the living room watching TV like people are like how do you get all that done and I'm like what do you do when you get home from work at night? Like, I don't understand what you're doing that you can't get that done. I don't know, right? Um, so we all have our things, and I'm very focused, and I love to stamp. I love my job more than I can ever even tell you. I feel so blessed that I can do this and make money at it to pay my bills. That is just still is crazy to me that I can do something that I love so much and pay my bills with it. Like I have, I feel so fortunate, so blessed to be able to do this and to share it with you because I love sharing. All right, you guys. Um, I don't see any other questions here. If you have any other questions, comments, um, you can leave them in a comment under my Facebook Live. I do check all my messages. I mean, once in a while I miss one, but you know, I'm human. And uh, Denise, cheers to you, baby. <laughs> Thanks for starting the great game tonight. I love it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I'll see you back here 6 p.m. Sunday on the 15th of April. And until then, happy stampin'.